probably, it, I don't. How do oh, it? that's bad. Keep All right. it as is. It's absolutely filthy, but I think it, it can be cleaned. New door and someone punched it in. $10 to the person that tells me what that is. Uh, for swamp, swamp color. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, sh what? what is this? All right, welcome to part two of the video on Pepper Place. We're gonna walk through and talk about renovation costs, furniture costs. Now, Kevin, you have a bunch of properties in your portfolio, you've got 10. Yeah. How many of those are midterm rentals? Nine of them. Damn, this boy's doing midterm rentals. You've got nine in your portfolio. How many of them have you furnished? We furnished like seven or eight of them. Okay, most of the properties are being furnished, yes. which means the property on Pepper Place, which Eric Ballman is going to be jumping into this video, walking through with Kevin, and they are going to calculate the renovation costs. Here's what we're gonna do. Pay attention, Eric, Kevin, I'm giving you the homework right now. Here's what we're doing. I'm going to film you. I'm holding the camera. We're gonna do some role playing, okay? Eric and you need to pull out your own individual calculators. Okay. As I go through and say, that needs to be renovated, that needs to be done, this should be done, X, Y, and Z, you guys should be adding up what you think those individual things cost. And at the end of this video, we are going to throw out three numbers. I, as a contractor for 10 years, I know the answer, okay? okay. I know the answer based on my experience. Eric and you are gonna see who can get the closest to my number based on walking through and calculating the property. Okay. Sound good? Okay. Now, I'm okay with you guys collaborating and going, what do you think that is and what do you think that is? But I'm not gonna tell you what I think it actually will cost, okay? Make yes. sense? Yes. All right, boys, let's switch the reverse. <laughs> and flip it. All right, boys, so we've got Eric versus Kevin Cho. Yes. All right, the winner gets to pick where we go to lunch today. And Kevin, don't just say it's Korean food, okay? No Korean food, okay, got it. Pull out your calculators. Here's what we're gonna do. We've gotta start with the outside landscaping. Okay. You guys both take a guess and add it up in your calculator. Let's go to the next step. Walk into the house. All windows need to be replaced on this house. He said windows would be three grand, so like, that's what he said. That's cost. Oh, the cost of the window. Yeah, cost of oh. window plus install, you're between three and 4,000 bucks for a house like this. But that's without a contractor involved. That's you, if you did the work, if you did the work yourself or you hired a guy directly to just do the install. Now, we gotta do anything on the patio? Are we gonna paint the porch? Are we gonna tile the porch? Are we gonna paint the outside of the house? Or are we just gonna power wash it? Are we doing new light fixtures? Are we doing a new screen door? Are we gonna do a new front door? What are we doing here, Kev? You know what? We're gonna we're gonna paint the we're gonna paint this wood right here. And you're gonna leave the blue? I think the blue's good. Yeah, blue is unique. Because you got when the tenants come in, you have to buy it. This is a blue house. I have a blue house with a blue window. Definitely need to be power. -washed. I like that that's your justification for keeping it blue. That's it's great. It's dusty, but. Let's yeah. walk in to show me what we got. Okay. What kind of floors we got, boys? What this is this? Tile? Yeah, this is, yeah, this is tile, wood tile. Wood tile. A fake wood tile. We're gonna All keep right. it as is. It's absolutely filthy, but I think it, it can be cleaned and salvaged. I don't see anything, anything, nothing looks cracked or damaged. Okay, it's what are some things that we need to do in this front room? Air vent. Okay, what else? This is good. I love that you said this is good. Everybody pay attention on you. <laughs> Everybody pay attention to YouTube land. You see this cord that's going all the way down the wall and plugs into the wall? That's called Ghetto Superstar. We don't want to have that at all. Look how, first and foremost, this is not up to code. That is going into the socket right there. So what do we got to do here? Electrical. Electrical, okay. What I would also do is I would add can lights to the whole entire house. I would add LED can lights. I would say 20 can lights throughout the house, and I'll tell you why. One, it's darker in here. It's a smaller house. Two, it saves on electricity. And three, it's really not that expensive to do it. Okay. It's like $7 on Amazon per light, plus like $20 per install, so it's yeah. really, really inexpensive. Now, what about blinds, boys? Do you think any of these blinds are gonna stay? Brand new blinds. Okay, you see how they're mismatched too, so you're gonna do all new blinds for yep. all new windows. All right, mm -hmm. add that up in your calculator. Add the electrical up in your calculator. Now, are we, we definitely don't like the paint in this house. The paint is trash. Okay, are we just gonna repaint it? Or are we doing new trim? Are we doing anything else? We might have to replace the baseboards. I mean, they're gonna have to be scrubbed very well. Everything's just filthy. I don't, I don't th think they're damaged. I just think they're just utterly filthy. So we can clean those. Okay, next room. Okay, what do we do here? I hate a lot of things in here. What do we hate? Well, backsplash. I think a backsplash is probably overkill for this house. Oh, look at all the bugs. Gross. Cabinets are fine. They, everything needs to be cleaned. It looks like everything's functioning. Okay, a uh, couple, couple, like couple things I want to point out to you boys, okay? First and foremost, there's no ventilation for a gas stove. That is problematic, okay? How are we going to get ventilation? 
Here is the other solution that needs to be brought. That microwave should not be on the countertop. Nobody likes that. So what you should be doing is putting microwave a microwave up here in a hood. In a hood. Yeah. Okay, so add all that up, what you think that's gonna cost you, okay? Also, if it's me and I'm renting this property out, I'm getting rid of the Formica and I'm yes. gonna do just a cheap white granite in here. Granite. Really, really cheap. I mean, that means I gotta do a new sink. Okay, because that overmount sink, yeah. I could keep it, but like, why not just replace it with something a little bit nicer, especially the kitchen should be the focal point. Do we not agree? Can lights in here, you see why can lights would be really helpful in here. They have no a, a lack of lights. Yeah. Next room, one advantage you have in here. Let's see if we can open up the door. Okay, perfect. All right, what do we notice about this room, anybody? This was the laundry room. You can obviously, there's an outlet for the dryer here. All right, they weren't obviously using it. They weren't using it. I don't know what happened, I don't know what happened to it. So we're going to get a new washer dryer. You're going to do a midterm rental. You got to have your washer and dryer in the house, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so you got to do a washer and dryer. Again, your can lights are going to be added in here. Yeah. And get rid of that stupid light. By the way, that's a gas. Oh, sh What? Oh my gosh. Okay, so that electrical, you needed, I would get a licensed electrician to look at this. These are a shotgun little fuses. That's old. I think it'll be fine. Okay. Now, this room is not properly ventilated. How do we know that? This is a gas water heater. You cannot have a gas water heater without proper ventilation inside of an enclosed room. That needs to be, there is ventilation that needs to be added, okay? It's a gas water heater. So either A, you switch it with an electric water heater or B, you switch out the ventilation. I also, if it was me, I would add, I would replace that door with a door that has a glass on it to bring in natural light into this yeah, side of the house. For sure. Kevin's wow. like, stop spending my money. <laughs> You can see how I notice every little thing. Yeah. I could keep going on and on. There's also no floor for us to stand on. If you want to save money and you don't want to do new tile here, you could either do new tile or just paint the epoxy in here okay. and make this a, like a dark gray epoxy or even a brown epoxy that matches the tile. Okay. okay. That fridge probably needs to be replaced. It's probably, it, I don't <laughs> open that, Eric. No, no, no. How did oh, this? Oh, that's bad. <laughs> All right. I'm now wondering, like, how did this Keep house going. pass conventional financing? New door, and someone punched it in. Oh my gosh, that's f so foul, bro. Oh, like what is this? A reptile tank? Yeah, that are like a. Oh. Yeah. So that stinks. Broken window. Obviously, we need new windows. We already know that. More can lights in here. This is their dead body. In here? Uh, all new door <laughs> handles, can lights, ceiling fan. New Christmas lights. I think these need to be replaced. Oh my gosh, that's so bad, <laughs> Eric. I did it on purpose for the shock Wait, value. Okay, so ten dollars to the person that tells me what that is. And that is a uh, for swamp. swamp cooler. Oh my gosh, yes, there's a swamp cooler right there. You yeah. turn the water on for the swamp cooler. That yeah. should just be removed. Yeah. Oh, you got a new heat pump on top of the roof, a new package unit. It's new, so you don't have to do anything with the AC. Yeah. That's nice. I would add can lights in the hallway. You see how there's sure. no lighting in here? Yeah. Bathroom seems actually to be in decent working order. I would obviously get the window is replaced. The bathroom is actually fine for the most part. Okay. Just needs to be cleaned up. Kevin just was like, oh my gosh, I just dodged a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta replace the carpet on all the... There's carpet in two rooms. There... Now, I would suggest not doing carpet. If oh, you're gonna spend the it. money, why not just spend a little bit more money and, and get either laminate in here oh, or... Yeah, for sure. Right, Something I mean, else. We gotta rip this out. This is trash. Yeah, rip it out. It's trash. Now, one thing that my team does, Kevin, different than what you'll probably do, is that in, when I was in this phase of business, I would do carpet and I would save the money because I didn't have the money to invest. What I found is that two years later, I'm redoing floors anyway. So what I would do is my team, when we buy stuff like this, we spend a lot more money up front than what you normally would. Yeah. And I go to the floor that wood tile and I get rid of all the floor and I do everything all brand new tile so it matches everywhere, okay? Oh my gosh. I can't believe people live like this. I can. Uh, I've been to so many appointments, so bad. I, uh, this is nothing. This house is actually like, to be honest with you, you've done it, this is a good little house that doesn't have a lot to do. Like you could bang this out. Okay, let's go to the back unit. Let's go look at that. Okay. Okay, so, ooh, this is cute, bro. I mean, you know when you got a, an electrical cable that Kevin almost hits his head on, you know it's too low. Out of the... All right, so here's the problem. Look at that back wall. You don't really have a fence. Now, you, do you need a fence to make money? The, that's the question. It's for safety, more or less. All right, so you got a functional washer and dryer, new light fixtures on the back. This all looks good. Your water heater just needs a little bit of attention, but it looks like it's probably brand new. Let's go get in the front of the house and walk through. You got new electrical panel. That's good. Dude, you're in, you're sitting in good shape. Yeah, this is great, man. I love that the unit is separate. They got a little their own little parking area. This is awesome. Why didn't I buy this? 
All right, boys. Ooh, I hate this tile so much. Hello? Holy crap. I think that you don't open the freezer. It's really bad. It's leak. <laughs> Something's leaking out. Oh, yeah. I think you need all new kitchen in here. I think you need new cabinets. I think you need a glass door to the outside. You see how this is your gas stove. It is actually plugged into gas. And there's no, you can't even, oh, try and open the whole stove all the way. Okay, yeah, you're probably fine. Clearance. It's tight. Okay, they got, pull that down. Oh. There we go. Well, I have a stove when you only eat ramen, you know? What I don't like about this is I don't like the tile in here. That's up to you. I would pull out all the tile and I'd do new tile, new baseboards. I would also open up that wall. I would open up this wall right here to expose more of the kitchen so the kitchen doesn't feel so closed off. And I would do new cabinets in that kitchen. Where'd you put the fridge? Because the fridge is right here. Oh, yeah, maybe just leave it then. Okay, so this is a one bed, one bath? Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at it. Show me the bathroom. Yeah, I would do all new floors in the whole, in the whole spot. Yep, they got new windows, they got a newer AC, they got a newer hot water heater. Maybe you could keep the tile. Maybe you're, maybe I'm wrong about this. The tile's consistent, it's not great, but... Okay, let's go up front, boys. Let's, let's take our tally. Let's wrap it up. All right, you guys need a second to calculate this? I think I got it. Good. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Who should we go? Who should go first? Eric. Okay, Eric. 42. Ooh, forty-two thousand dollars for the total renovation. I put Thirty-four. 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 You want to know what the number is? Yeah. The number is thirty grand. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> Wait, is that, is that including the labor too? Yep. You want to know how I get that to, to that number? How? Okay. So here's here's the advantage of knowing everything I know. It actually has nothing to do with any measurements, any actual pricing whatsoever. It has to do with the crews that I've had for 11 years. Those guys, when I just tell them, hey guys, my budget here is 30,000 bucks, they just do the whole project for 30,000 bucks. That's really, that's honestly my answer. They've been with me for 11 years. So when I say, I need to get everything done for 30 grand, what they calculate in their mind is they go, okay, the rent, the cost of the material is probably 15, 20,000 in materials that means that gives us 15 to you know ten to fifteen thousand dollars in profit the faster we go the more money we make and that is the kind of contractor you want you want a guy that's by the job not by the individual thing okay cool so I win you guys had no chance and hopefully this was helpful for you guys now people will go how do you get a crew like that you want to know how to get a crew like that put 11 years of hard work in and trust and building a relationship with people that you figure out each other how each other works that's where that comes from compound effect of relationships and the cool thing is Kevin is not only only a student of the game. He's one of my students, one of my friends, one of the leaders in sub two. He gets to borrow my relationships as his own because we're friends. And so he gets to borrow 11 years of my experience to come in and go, here you go. Congratulations Thank on your you. purchase. Oh Thank yeah, you. no problem. <laughs> give me money, give me money. Give me all the money. So hopefully you guys learned a thing or two. This property, what you should do is go over to Kevin Cho's channel. He'll do a follow-up of how much he actually ends up spending, how fast the job ends up getting done and what the final budget is. You guys can see that video over on Kevin Cho's channel. We'll put a link in the description down below below to grow his channel. Thank you. Later.